Hello and welcome to Youthim Pro. In this video, we will have a look at the menus section of the website builder. Here you can see all menus which are available in the Joomla system. The theme offers two positions to place a menu in. One is the main navbar position and the second one is the mobile position. The mobile position is available when we go to a smaller viewport and click on the menu toggle. You can choose one of the available menus here in this drop down and usually you will display the main menu in both positions but you're also free to create a new menu and assign this to the mobile position. For example, if you want to have different menus there or a different nested menu structure. When you click on one of the menus, you see all of the included menu items. At the bottom, you see a button to add a new menu item. If you click the button, you are presented with the default screen that you are used to from Joomla. But you stay inside the website builder, so you don't have to jump around between different screens when working on your menus. Let's create a link to a single article, hit save and click cancel to close the module. You see that the preview updates and we see the new item appear in the preview. You can also click on any of the existing menu items to go back to the editing screen and change any of the available options from the Joomla settings. Sometimes you want to change the appearance of a single menu item. In this section here, we change the menu structure, but if we go up and then go to the layout settings and there navigate into the header subsection, we see that we can edit the items of the navigation bar. Let's click on the item that I've just created. And for example, we can add a subtitle to this menu item. When the preview updates, we see the subtitle appear. The other two settings here only apply to drop downs, but this menu item doesn't have a drop down because there's no submenu. On this website, the about item has items below it, so there's a drop down that appears when we hover this item. If we go to the settings of this navbar item, we can now set the drop down to appear in two columns. And as you can see, the two items are displayed next to each other. We can also set a specific pixel value for the width of the drop down columns. Or we could choose to justify the drop down to the full width of the content container. As you can see, this overrides the pixel value. But I want to go back to the default settings because I quite like it that way. And this is how you manage the structure and appearance of your menus and menu items. Thanks for watching.